Hey, I'm Miguel Celis from Cisco Tag Security Team. Today, I will be walking you through how to configure a control plane ACL for ASA using CLI. Control plane ACLs are generally used to block connection attempts from unwanted sources. To configure one, first, let's access our Cisco ASA firewall via CLI. Then, we will go into privilege exec mode by using the enable command and typing in our password. Prior to going into configuration mode, you can verify if you have a previously applied control plane ACL by issuing the command show run access group and verify if there is an entry with the keyword control plane on the interface we intend to apply our configuration to. If there were to be an entry then, instead of creating a new access list, you can just add an access control entry to the already existing control plane ACL. As you can see, in our scenario there isn't so we can proceed with a brand new control plane ACL configuration. Now, let's go into configuration mode by using the command configure terminal. In this example, I want to block all connections coming from the 192.168.1.0 subnet, and I will create an access list with the name ACL unwanted country, and apply it to our interface name outside 220. For that, I will use the following command, access list ACL unwanted country, extended deny IP 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.0 any. As a note, you can also use network objects or network object groups in your ACL. Now we can go ahead and apply our access list as a control plane ACL by using the following command. Access group, ACL unwanted country, in interface outside 220, control plane. We can now exit configuration mode and finally, I will verify the configuration by using the command show run access group. As you can see, our control plane ACL is now applied to the interface. An important consideration is that unlike a normal ACL, there is not an implicit deny at the end of the ACL. Also, if you create a new control plane ACL, or if you edited an existing one that is actively in use, then it is important to highlight that the configuration changes made do not apply to already established connections to the ASA. Therefore, you need to manually clear the active connection attempts to the ASA. If you'd like to clear connections from a single host, say 192.168.1.10, use the command clear con address 192.168.1.10 all. Now, if you want to clear the whole 192.168.0/24 subnet, use the command clear con address 192.168.1.0 netmask 255.255.255.0 all. A range can also be cleared. If you want to clear all the IP addresses between 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.10, then the command would be clear con address 192.168.1.1-192.168.1.10 all. The keyword all is necessary since we're clearing control plane to the box traffic. And that's it. You have implemented a control plane ACL. Contact TAC support if you have any other issues and check the TAC video portal for more. Thanks for watching.